little storm clouds and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today i'm going to show you how i did this truck bed without the basement trick i've done this previously and i did do it with the basement trick and you could see like the foundation through the floor whereas now you can see it looks like the, there is nothing underneath the truck so i think it looks a lot better before we get into the tutorial you want to make sure you have a couple of cheats on the cheats we need are bb.move objects on and bb.show live edit objects and bb.show hidden objects if you don't know how to get the cheat bar up go ahead and press the ctrl shift and c if you are on a pc and this white bar will pop up in the top left hand side if you are on a console go ahead and press all four shoulder buttons if you don't know what the shoulder buttons are it is the back four buttons on the controller and that will bring up the cheat bar and type in each one of those cheats i will have them on screen so you know how to type them and press enter after each one once you are done to get rid of the cheat bar press the same buttons again so for me ctrl shift and c if you are on a console go ahead and press those four shoulder buttons again right now we can jump into the proper tutorial so i'm first going to draw the room and we want a two by three room so we've got something like this and you want this to be in the direction where you want your truck to be you do have to do this on a straight line or a diagonal it can't just be just anywhere um, because of the way i am doing this go ahead and page up so we're on the next floor and i'm just going to copy this room and shove it on top and then you can just click on the bottom room and go ahead and delete that now we have this floating room here and what we want to do is i'm just going to grab my sledgehammer click on a wall and drag it across the full thing and it will delete just the walls page up again because you have the ceiling and we want to get rid of this so click on the ceiling click the yellow line and click remove ceiling now we have this floating floor here i'm going to drag it down a little bit i don't know exactly where to yet but we want it a little bit lower to the ground now we need a debug item and this debug item is base game this can be done fully base game but what you want to do is in this search bar in the bottom left search debug and what you want to do is you will get more options that i have here i, I have a mod on so so it's only showing these two but anywhere where it says debug just click on it and it will bring up all the debug items it is slightly different if you are on a console and a tiny bit more tricky because when you search so go to search something the box will pop up here where you search something just search don't type anything in at all and the whole catalog is going to appear including those debug items and you will have to scroll through if you have a lot of packs i recommend clicking on the base game in the filtered section because this item is in the base game so since i have a mod i just go to my live edit section here and then I'm just going to scroll through until we find the truck. Uh, there it is. And there is different trucks depending if you have other packs. But we've got these two here if you want to use a black one or a teal one. I'm going to go ahead and use this teal one because I like brightly coloured things. There's this one as well which looks identical. You can see there is only slight differences. This one has a shine to it and this one's a bit more matte. I'm going to go for the one with a shine on it because I like the detail. So what we're going to do is place this under the room. We don't want it on top like this. So what you want to do is grab it and try place it under there. If you're having trouble, raise this up a little bit and then you should just be able to place it underneath. And you want to line the back of the truck up with the edge of this. So I want to... So it should be like this. You can see it's just a little bit over. Now what you want to do is click on that room and drag it down. And it's not quite low enough. I'm going to drag it down once more. So it is hidden. So look, now you can't see anything in there. Unless you look here, you can see it a little bit here. So now we need a bed. I'd recommend using a bed that has a really low footboard or doesn't have a footboard. And also avoid beds that have a big back like this. Otherwise, it's going to stick through the top of the car. So I'm going to show you a base game one. And then I'll show you the bed that I prefer to use, which is from Seasons, I believe. But I'm just going to show you with this one real quick. What you want to do is put on quarter grid tiles. If you are on a PC, press Ctrl and F5. And now you will get quarter grid tiles. If you don't know what quarter grid tile is, I'll just show you real quick. So currently I've got normal tiles on. You can see this bed snaps to the lines. You've got the solid line and this dotted line it will snap to each side if i press ctrl and f5 you can see we get that quarter point so it's going quarter way through the grid what we're going to do is make sure i'm paged up again because i want it to be able to be placed well, we're going to place it on that floating room and i'm going to stick the bed slightly through the back of the truck 
That is because if it's pushed too far in like this, your Sim's head will be in the back of the car. So if you just do one grid tile slightly down with the quarter tiles on, you will get this. And this is why it's best to have one that doesn't have a footboard because if we raise it once, we don't have that line through the bed anymore. It would be good if we could do this, but like I said, the Sim's head just pop through. So this is a little bit better. So it looks a tiny bit weird having this bit of wood there. And this is why the ones without a footboard works a little bit better. I'll show you the bed that I prefer to use. But like I said, if you do want to do a base game, the option is there. So this is the one that I like to use most because there's no footboard and it just looks like the blanket is hanging over the edge of the bed. Again, just placing that back bit in, raising it once. Now currently our sims can't go up here because it is too high for them to just climb in. So we need to add some stairs. Go ahead and add some stairs that either blend in with the surroundings or blend in a little bit with the car. So I'm going to use these ones from the werewolf pack, which are green. And you need to place them on the center tile. And that is because your sims won't be able to get in the bed otherwise. And you also need to place them out like this. If you place them so they are like this, your sim still can't get up there because you need at least half a tile next to a bed for your sim to be able to access it. So you do need to place it out like this. So now I'm just gonna go in to live mode and get my sim. I'm just gonna teleport her over here so she's not taking forever. And then let's see if she can get in here. I like to make sure everything goes in. Yeah, you can see she's going up into that bed and she will get in there and lay down. This is what I mean, if this was any further this way, her head would just be in the car and it looks a little bit strange. So this bed works great, because like I said, it looks like the duvet's just hanging over. And you can decorate this car a little bit. I added little fairy lights in my short and I added little lights on top and stuff like that. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.